All right. Hi. How are you tonight? So well. How are you? You were nominated for Yeah. Yeah. You know, I think I was lucky enough to already be songwriting before I even started working on Young and the Restless. And the casting, she knew that. Uh, this woman named Sheila Guthrie. And um, I, uh, yeah, she kind of knew that was so ingrained in what I do. And the role was a songwriter. So when I came in, I think it all just really tied together already. And then there was an, uh, I think this first song I sang on the show was actually an original song. Because they were like, do you have anything? And I was like, do I? This is all I do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my bind, my Rolodex. So yeah, I think it was kind of always intended to be a part of the character, and I feel really lucky that they've trusted me so much to be able to do that continuously. Before I move on to uh, your role uh, on the show, um, I want to take you a little bit back. Do you remember the first album you bought? Since you're like so much into music, I mean, the first one that popped in my head was uh, I don't remember the specific name of the album, but it's Christina Aguilera when she's blonde, she's leaning up against the, you know what I'm talking about, white T-shirt. Uh, it had like uh, it's it had. Oh my gosh, what song is it? But I, that was like my first album that I just repeatedly, 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 repeatedly played, so yeah. And creating this song for your character, uh, what, where did you get the inspiration from? Like, what was your direction? How did you work on it? Um, so we actually wrote it over Zoom, which is funny. <laughs> well, but you know, it was kind of during the heat, like in the heat of COVID, so I didn't really know if we would get the opportunity to ever meet, so we just did it over video. Um, he played some chords and I kind of just sang over them and then the whole thing came together. Yeah. Uh, Kate, usually when you get cast on a soap opera, you could, you could work a year or you could work 40 years. Do you ever think about your character and where it's headed? No, I'm so, I just like I'm flying by the seat of my pants at this point. I'm like, please keep me. Like I'm just, every year that rolls around that I'm still on the show, I'm just like, okay, I'm still here. So like longevity wise, I haven't even like, I just feel like every day I'm kind of just like, is this going to be the day? <laughs> yeah. And do you get any uh, like say in the writing or in anything when it comes to your character, where it's headed? No. Um, which I think is probably good. Um, <laughs> I think we, actors, we think we have great ideas, but we don't. Um, no, it's just uh, I've been lucky enough to um, just been blessed with really good writers. Thank God. <laughs> if it was up to you, where would you like her to go? Or where would you like to see her moving forward? I mean, I always love conflict. I love drama. So, of course, I would love something juicy. Just like when I first started on the show, I was like kidnapping people, blackmailing people. So I kind of miss that. But it's been nice to be able to be like sweet. And, and I think it's important for the Dry story for both of us to be like really sweet and in love and me not be blackmailing her mother anymore. So I think it's worked out. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have fun. Thank you, Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. I just...